Promote your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Hit me, Sam Ant, at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. Let's go. Hot off the presses. Grab your exclusive merch at the Viral Hip Hop Shop. Protect your energy at all costs. And you tired of all these self-proclaimed goats? Well, be a goat killer. Exclusively at the Viral Hip Hop Shop. Link in the description. Point blank period. Yeah. Let's talk about your girl Cardi, man. Yeah, Cardi, man. She was um surprised a lot of people didn't talk about this, but she was uh, pretty much denouncing, you know, um, I don't know if it was in New York City or the U.S. government cuts, cutting uh, funding for sanitation, schools, and things like that. She also said that she, if anything happens to her. Uh-oh, uh-oh. If anything happens to her, look at this video because I've been calling out the people. So let's play what Cardi said, man, and we'll get him. A better context. Let's do it. We started. Yeah, I'm about to go up right now. Come on in. Hold up. Oh, y'all outside because usually I'd be having like 30,000 people by now, but I have 24,000. I need y'all to spread this fucking video. I need y'all to spread this video. And if something happens to me, it's because I'm speaking truth. So God forbid something happens to me or my family or some shit is because the niggas is after me because I'm speaking the truth. And here's the truth, right? In New York, there is a 120 million budget cut. There's a 120 million budget cut in New York that is going to affect schools, public libraries, and um, the police department. Y'all know I don't give a fuck about the cops, but like it is what it is. <laughs> There's going to be a 120 million dollar budget cut with schools, with the libraries, and the cops, and the police department, and a five million dollar budget cut in sanitation. Of a budget cut. And sanitation. Bitch, we're going to be drowning with rats. We're going to be drowning in fucking rats. So we're going to be having a budget cut on these shits. Mind you, this is why I said, I'm not, this is why I'm telling y'all, I'm not this year. Don't fucking ask me. I don't give a fuck the resume that they send. I don't give a fuck. I'm not endorsing no fucking presidents no more. Because how is that a hundred million dollar budget cut in New York City for, for, um, Fucking schools, library, uh, police safety, and sanitation. Yeah, Joe Biden is talking about, like, yeah, we could fund two wars. We could fund two wars. Motherfuckers talking about we don't got it, but we got it. Like, we're the greatest nation. No, the fuck we're not. We're <laughs> going through some shit right now. Like, say it. Say it. We're really going through. Uh, we, we, we really, 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 really are fucked right now. $20 million cut. Like, where, where, where these kids are gonna go? Like, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm blessed. I'm whatever the fuck. But, like, what ha- what's gonna happen to my nieces? What's gonna happen to my, my nephews? What's gonna happen to my cousins, my aunts, my friends? They're living, they're, they're living, they're, they're living in the hood. Fuck the hood. Like, my, my shit. Like, I don't give a fuck why I, if I live in Jersey, bitch. I'm, I'm from the Bronx. I don't wanna see my shit affected. <laughs> The Bronx, it's going to affect the whole New York. 100, 120 million budget cut on schools, libraries, police department, and sanitation. Bitch, New York is already fucking super dirty. Super dirty. <laughs> like, yo, you know what's embarrassing? Like, it's like, you know, like, I know people from California. I know people from Atlanta. So we always be like, I was like, yeah, New York is the greatest place in the world. Yeah, New York, they, they be like, New York is dirty. And it is dirty. And we're going to get even dirtier with the fucking budget cut. And yeah, we talking about we, we could fund two wars. That's like a nigga trying to front, like, yeah, I got the money to support two bitches, but you really don't. <laughs> Y'all talk about y'all don't fucking y'all don't make negotiate negotiation with the Ops, but y'all need to sit the fuck down with these people and find a and, and find agreement. No, we cannot fund these fucking wars. We can't. Keep it a bean. We can't. Like y'all y'all doing budget cuts on 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 the biggest city in the United States. Somebody said Cardi look behind. Stop playing with me. <laughs> this shit is getting out of hand. We're really going. They, they don't want to say the word, but we're going through a recession right now. We really, really, really fucking are. And Major Eric said it. There is a budget.
budget cut going on the new, in, in, in New York. And little by little, it's going to go in your states. Okay? This is fucking crazy. And then, you know, you know, so like, you know what? I told myself this week, like, yo, the internet right now is too dark because celebrity drama, of course, we 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 love it. We inf we infuse with it. We watch it. But it's like, yo, that's little. Of what's really going on in the world right now? That's nothing compared to what's going on in the world right now. I'm gonna stop it there, man. I think we heard enough. Yeah. Um, as as comical as it was, how animated she is, how hood she is. I still understand her message. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Sure. It's funny to listen to, and she's not the most articulate person, but I think certain people just got, you just kind of like get the gist of what somebody's saying right. without them, oh, you know, this and that. Everybody ain't got to talk like that. But I mean, obviously she's concerned, which to me is like, I get it, I understand, because she's talking about her family, the people that's not as fortunate as her. Um I don't know, man. I, I, she talks about, you know, something probably happening to her. I don't think it's that deep at all. I just think that's just this talk conjecture. But um, she does make a point about the the war. The whole situation is like we say the same thing. It's, it, it, it's so much stuff that that's going on in our country. You know, different things, pandemics and stuff going on here that we haven't handled yet. But we sending hundreds of millions of dollars. That's why, I mean, the people got to do something about it. The people got to stand up. One yeah. person can't change it. The people got to be fed up and take to the streets and say, look, this is enough. And yeah. I'm not saying any violence or anything like that, but, you know, I see other, in other countries all the time where they're not satisfied with something's going on with the government. They go out and they protest and they stop working or do this to do that for, for change. But um, I agree with, her with a lot of stuff she's saying, honestly. Yeah, you know, you know, I was sitting here, we both sitting here laughing. I'm laughing because... Every, it seemed like any Bronx girl that I've ever ran into, they got the same accent. It, you right. know a Bronx girl. Remy, fucking Cardi, my son's mom, her sister, they all got that same right. accent. That shit was just making me laugh. Right. Because you you know a Bronx woman when you hear them. But <laughs> she got a point, man. And I, this, is, this is my thing because obviously we've seen Cardi B endorse Joe Biden. Um, I'm sure she's endorsed a lot of Democratic nominees. And... From what I gather from her, I'm sure she's genuine about who she's endorsing because she seems yeah. like she's very passionate about this type of area. She's passionate about this stuff. Right. So although it may not come off as articulate as we may like, she knows her shit and she's passionate about it. That being said, I think she just got a wake up call like, I don't care how mm -hmm. much they appreciate or, or attempt to try to act like they like me when it comes to election season. I don't care how many times they invite me to the White House or want to rub elbows for cameras. Right. I'm going to use my platform with millions of people. I mean, we've seen the numbers on that Twitter video alone. What that come out a couple of days ago? Yeah. 20-something million people. Holy influence. So I appreciate her using her platform to uh, verbally do something that we haven't seen basically anybody do. We haven't seen DL do this. We haven't seen Roland Martin do this. We they in the seen pocket. The Breakfast Club do this. We they in the seen pocket. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then you ask, you're surprised why this hasn't been covered. It don't surprise me one bit because she's going directly against the establishment and 24 million people just saw it. And that's why she said, okay, I'm in fear for my life because she knows the type of ramification that comes behind this. Maybe not in death per se, but they may kill off a certain revenue stream to potentially hurt her in a time right now where she alluded it's a recession going on. And I don't care how much money you got. Groceries, just as much as it is for you as it is for us and all that shit. Shit's expensive out here. So, I, I, I hope I, I think that, happen, I think it but, goes a little deep. I don't think, yeah. I, I don't think, I just don't, I don't think for her making that video that anything's going to happen. Hell no. At all. Like, no, none of that. You know what I mean? Um, now, she continues on, maybe, with this stance, maybe. They might be like, nah, you can't keep doing this. But one little thing, her saying it like that, I don't, I don't, I don't think nothing's gonna go down, man. Honestly. So we're getting into political season. It's coming up, right? We're gonna start right. seeing the, the Republican primaries and then election season. And Cardi B is gonna talk. Do you think that she gets louder with this? Let's, let's kind of, kind of foresee the future. And where do you see this going? Nowhere. With her. Nowhere. <laughs> honestly, I don't. I just, I think it was just a, a video that she made out of emotion. Oh, good, good emotion. You know what I mean. Yeah. Jumped on and, and you know probably read an article, seen something, and it's 
definitely concerned, genuinely concerned. I'm not going to take that away from her, but um, I don't know if she even really understands the scope, you know, of how the politics work and a Democrat and Republican and all that. I think she was genuinely, like you said, interested mm -hmm. in, you know, endorsing and helping people and, and trying to, you know, get some change. Yeah, but you got to look at it like, yo, this shit is rigged. This shit is fucked up. And I think she's saying that now. Exactly. So it's like, again, like you said, you're using your platform now, now it's time to use your platform for the right thing, right? And I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking that. Even if it was the smallest level, she used it for the right thing. That's all we ask for. It's like y'all can make y'all money, do y'all thing, but when it's time to call a spade a spade, just do it. And you'll do get it. our respect, and you'll get us following you, and people rocking out with you. Yep. All day. That's why I like I salute Cardi for doing it because in right. her way, she used her platform to say, Nah, this ain't cool. I'm not. I'm not just going to ride with the status quo and just feed my people bullshit when people know right. New York is a cesspool. Let's just keep it for what it is. And it's not the people. I'm not talking about the people that feed the, the street and feed the culture of New York. I'm talking about the actual damn streets. Oh, yeah. Garbage all over the place and rats running around big as damn <laughs> mountain lions and shit. Like, it, it's just, it's not an enjoyable place. And when you look at how many people walk in and out of that city on a daily basis, you would expect it to be a little more presentable. But that's no different. San Francisco is the same way. Philly. You know what I mean, Philly's the same yeah. way. They, it, they, but it, just go, it, mo it goes more to show you, like, like she was saying, where's the money going? You, you cutting budgets here, but you're sending trillions, billions of dollars over to these foreign countries. Mm. It's ludicrous at the end of the day. It's just like, yo, what's going on for real, for real? And like you said, all, you're talking about all the people going inside of New York, so it ain't enough money. To get rid of the rats, there ain't enough money to clean up the streets. Hell, come it's on there, now. they just don't care. Nope. And they put it in places where they want to put it. That's why I said the people really got to step up and say, look, enough is enough of this shit. Because the people got to understand they really have the power. It's only the illusion that the government powers run this shit. The people got the power. That's just, that's just what it is. They do. Right. And do you think that eventually... Because we seen what happened with the, the 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 people that stormed the Capitol, and we all joked and laughed about it. But that was an uprising. The people had enough, and they uprose. yeah. What if we all collectively just came together? And what if and that's what they fear? More than Cardi B just came out and started publicly saying stuff. We had 10, 15, 20 people coming out, and instead of twenty four million, it was twenty four billion, and we really had enough, and we uprose. And I'm not calling for that or anything. Going, no, not saying <laughs> Kai that. Kai on this. Kai cannot. No, hold on. Not saying it. <laughs> but I'm throwing out the, the hypothetical what if we really say enough's enough in the next five, ten years. Do you think it would be more bloodshed or more change and what will come first? I just think it's a lot of different wars going on within everything. And I think they kind of want it that way. Black versus white. Man versus woman. Black man versus black woman it's all these different wars going on so we're never you know looking at the real and i'm not trying to say oh this person this or this is it is a powers that be right and it's a certain control that they have over the masses and i think that if their worst fear is everybody could like slay all right man let's stop fighting yeah you black i'm white but look we both can't do this or they both, you know, taking our money and sending it overseas, mm -hmm. taking both our bread over there, like our tax dollars is going over there. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we would I'd be a powerhouse. What if you had, you know, every single faction actually coming together and say, all right, look, now nah, we don't want it this way. This is how we want shit ran. This happened before. Look through history yeah. where the people have said, look, no, we're not doing it no more. I'm not doing it no more. This is how we want it. Mm -hmm. And you've seen governments that have been overthrown and all that type of shit, man. So, um not advocating for that, but I am advocating for change. Word. I don't like the way things are being ran through either party. I don't like the way the country's being ran. I, you know, and I'm not no no nothing's perfect. You know, but I just think that their biggest fear is everybody stop fighting with each other and start looking at them. I think that's their biggest fear. It's certain. It, this shit. This math ain't that difficult. They under we understand if we did things just a little bit different and collectively came together that we can see homelessness change. We could see people not in poverty. We could see people eating correctly. We could right. we could see things getting done the right way. It's systematically set in place for it not to happen for a reason. Why? Exactly. Why 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 would they put all the chemicals in the food and different shit like that and even education in the school? It's not really teach you to eat healthy. At all. They ain't teach you about shit that's really gonna help you. Nope. 
like get through life. Like some of the and they teach you this bullshit as history. It's like you said, it's systematically set up to kind of keep people servant slaves. You know what I mean? And or, and you know debt slaves for one, Ooh, physical slaves. You know at that. On the other side of things, like mm-hmm. we're gonna have a we're gonna have a hierarchy, but everybody's a damn debt slave. Exactly. You know what I mean? You all be debt slaves and you niggas can go be physical slaves. I guess. It's crazy. That's the and this is a deep matter. conversation, obviously. I mean, I ain't think we'll go down this road. Yeah, me either. It, you know what I mean? It went where it went. But um that's how deep this shit really gets at the end of the day. Like you can't tell me that you're sending money to pick any country, two billion or and I can go up the street. And see homeless people, or I can see people in lack and not getting certain, you know, necessities in life. Yeah, you just can't like. It's just crazy to me, man. It's we, crazy. We we record this this podcast in a fairly nice area, a town, right? Right. We go down the road, and we were just we were down the road a couple. You know what I mean? We, were, see, we were down the road. Crackheads on the street. There's crackheads on the street. There's yep. homeless people pushing carts around the corner asking for money. Yeah. Not far from here. It's everywhere, and it it, it don't have to be that way. But the why. When we figure out the why, and then we say enough's enough, man. Hopefully, yep. we see it in our lifetime, but we'll see. Yeah, man. Another episode of the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast in the books. That's your brother Sam, and I'm your brother Oh God. Hip Hop News Uncensored together with the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast.